what's going on bikers welcome back so i recently just uploaded an indoor trainer video and was made aware of a compatibility issue with the trainer and a certain sets of new bikes so i know a lot of people like myself were unaware of compatibility issues so here's what wahoo has to say uh, because of the wide variety of bicycles makes and models it is not possible for wahoo to guarantee the kicker's compatibility with all bicycles matching these parameters to fully ensure compatibility we recommend visiting a local wahoo retailer to test your bicycle's fit before purchasing please take note of the known incompatible bikes listed below while wahoo has conducted tests on kicker safety and compatibility with certain bikes the kicker end user is ultimately responsible for ensuring that their bike frame is compatible with the kicker trainers such that damage to the bike frame does not result from using the kicker trainer wahoo fitness strongly discourages altering trainers to fit bikes deviating from the following specifications including but not limited to grinding down components adding washers or improperly revising spacers as they may void your warranty and increase inherent risk Wahoo Fitness is not liable for any damage or injury related to improper installation, modification, or misuse of hardware. So that brings us down to the known incompatible bikes. The following bikes are not compatible with the Kicker V5, also known as the 2020 version, Kicker 18, or the Kicker Core. Those bikes are the Canyon Ultimate with rim brakes, 2021 Trek and Monda, 2020 to 2021 Trek Damani and Madone, the 2021 Giant TCR Disc, 2020 Cervelo S5, and a Lauf 2 Grit. So the first thing I would suggest for you to do is to take your bike off the trainer and check for damage. So this is what you should be looking for, where it's a worn down patch um, right where the adapter goes into the through axle. Um, as you see here on my frame, you notice you see in the paint starting to peel at that area. Now, paint peeling right now is mostly just cosmetic, but over a long period of time, it can start grinding into the frame. And in some extreme cases, um, there have been reports of the frame being damaged due to long periods of time where it's consistently grinding away at the frame. So I know this can be very frustrating. You just spent $3,000 on a bike and $1,200 on a trainer. And now you realize that they may not be compatible and they may be damaging your bike. So um, as far as what to do, there have been reports of people shaving down the adapters to make it fit. Now that may be a workaround. However, keep in mind, just like on Wahoo's page suggested, that I could void um, certain kind of warranties and not hold them liable if damage does occur to your bike. So I went ahead and contacted Trek and they did confirm what Wahoo was saying that the kicker is indeed not compatible with those uh, earlier mentioned models. However, they did confirm that the Saurus H3 trainer is compatible with those bikes. So if you haven't bought one yet and you're looking to get a trainer and you don't want to deal with this hassle trying to get it fixed um you might just want to go ahead and go on that saris h3 option however if you're someone like myself who has already purchased a wahoo kicker and you've had it for months and now you you know you can't return it what are your options so there's a couple options you can do now the first option is you could sell your wahoo kicker and use the money to get to purchase a saris as the saris is 300 dollars cheaper than the wahoo kicker now also keep in mind the saris does not come with a cassette so you will have to provide a cassette or if you um are handy enough be able to take it off your bike and up uh, and apply it onto the saris drive trainer but that could become cumbersome after a while, especially if you're consistently switching back and forth between inside and outside. So I did reach out to Wahoo and 
talking with their support staff, they advised me that they are working on a solution. And he's an, here's an email that they sent me in regards to the solution. Late in 2020, several bicycle manufacturers updated the frames on a few bike models that resulted with them being incompatible with our 2017 through current kicker and all versions of kicker core. Working closely with the bicycle companies, Wahoo has developed a new set of adapters allowing the affected bicycles to be used with the above mentioned Wahoo trainers. We are in the final stages of validating these and will have them available very soon. Please provide your shipping information and we will send them free of charge when they are available in the coming weeks. This ticket will be updated with tracking info when the adapters leave the warehouse. Now, this email was sent out to me yesterday, February 2nd, 2021. So it sounds like there should be a remedy to this problem relatively soon. And additionally, it's gonna be free of charge. So those of you who are in a situation, you may want to reach out to Wahoo Support to be added to the list. So when they are available, um, you will be um, on the list to have one sent out to you because um, we don't know if it's going to be a backlog um, or what have you once these things start coming out. Um, so as far as different solutions, for me, I'll be waiting. Um, I do enjoy the Wahoo and I have invested in the Wahoo ecosystem. So I will be waiting for these adapters to come out. I uh, mean, won't be selling mine or switching to a different kind of trainer. Um, but if maybe you're not as patient or you haven't bought one yet, you may want to look at the Ceres or the Neo um, trainers. So I definitely would advise you guys to check your bikes to make sure that there's not any damage to your trainers. And if there is, um, contact your bike companies, contact the trainer companies to make sure that whatever trainer is compatible to your bike. I have linked below the Wahoo support page that details which bikes are not compatible. Also, there's a thread um, discussing this issue along with a post that DC Rainmaker made also discussing this issue. So you guys can be fully informed and be able to protect your um, investment of your bike well with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i hope y'all found this helpful um, i hope you guys are riding and enjoying and protecting your bikes if you enjoy this content don't forget to like and subscribe i'll talk to y'all soon